a new product in the field of sustainable food production has emerged, lab-grown synthetic chicken. It's a product that uses animal cells grown in a lab to make meat without the need to raise or process animals. The procedure begins with a small sample of animal cells extracted via biopsy from a living chicken. These cells, specifically muscle cells, are carefully extracted and placed in nutrient-rich growing medium bioreactors, which are specialized containers. This medium nurtures the cells by feeding them with vital nutrients, like amino acids, carbs, vitamins, and minerals. The cells reproduce and divide over time, resulting in a larger population within the bioreactor. This stage of proliferation guarantees that there are enough cells for the next steps. As the number of cells grows, they differentiate, a process in which particular signals are sent to guide their metamorphosis into muscle cells, which are the main component of chicken flesh. Following the generation of a sufficient number of differentiated muscle cells, they are expertly united to form muscular tissue that nearly mimics real chicken meat. This tissue can be molded. It can be then processed into a variety of products, including chicken patties and soft nuggets, or maybe in the future, a squeezable tube of chicken. The goal of lab-grown synthetic chicken is for it to resemble traditional chicken flesh in appearance, feel, and flavor. Scientists meticulously fine-tune the variables throughout the tissue engineering process to generate a product that nearly matches the attributes the consumers expect. The end result is a reasonable copy of a traditional chicken complete with the same color, texture, and flavor. On June 21st, 2023, two California companies gained final USDA certification to begin selling lab-grown chicken. Cultivated chicken is far more expensive than meat from entire farmed birds, and it cannot yet be produced on a commercial scale. Currently, though, there are more than 150 companies worldwide working on meat from cells, including not only chicken, but also hog, lamb, fish, and cattle, which we're all curious to find out whether or not it tastes like chicken. These are Interesting Things with J.C.